Thank you, thank you. Here we are, Tuesday, Tuesday, with Ponder This. How's your day going? I pray it's going real good for you. I believe, I believe, if you dwell on the good things of God, get that word of God planted on the inside of you, Woo! there's no telling how great your day will be. All right, going to give you more than one thought today. I have some short ones here. Now, now what I've done in, in the book is at the back, I have what I call overflow seed thoughts for the days you need extra inspiration and motivation. And so instead of going into week, week one, week two in the book, I've gone to the back of the book. All right. And, and just some extras that I threw in there. We'll come back to a schedule a little bit later on. All right. Let's, let's get into two or three thoughts here. Wisdom uninvested is labor wasted. John Rahm said that, all right, which I think is fantastic. Wisdom uninvested is labor wasted. Wisdom, as I mentioned yesterday, is knowledge rightly divided. You know what? You can know something or know how to do something, but not, but, but not know when or uh, the timing to it, and you can do more damage than not knowing. So when it comes to wisdom, wisdom is the knowledge to do, all right, or doing what you know, uh, right, and dividing knowledge. So what we need to understand is this wisdom God has invested in us, this wisdom that God has given us, all right, is very important. Okay, here's another one. You are defined by your actions, not your words. Now that's familiar. <laughs> said that yesterday. Didn't know it was going to run into my thoughts for today. Didn't read ahead. You're defined by your actions, not your words. In, the, in, in other words, the way you live every day, that defines who you are. Anyone can say, I'm a child of God. Anyone can claim to be a Christian. But folks, let me tell you something. If your actions do not validate your words, then that's hypocrisy. Live out what you say. It's better that you not claim to be anything than to claim to be something and not live out what you're claiming. You do more damage to the body of Christ. You do more damage to the church, all right, by not living out your confession. So ponder on that. It is our outlook that determines our outcome. It's our outlook that determines our outcome. That's great. The light of one who shines so brightly will never cease to shine due to the many lights. He ignited for the kingdom during his earth's journey. Jesus is the light of the world. Amen. Woo. Glory to God. Mark Batterson said this, if you go all out for God, he will go all out for you. Let me give you one more. Leaders, be sure that how and where you are leading others is how and where God is leading you. That needs to be read again. You need to think on that one more time. Leaders, be sure that how and where you are leading others is how and where God is leading you. Take each one of those, think on them, ponder on them. They're worth your time and they will be an encouragement to you. God love you. God bless you. I pray, I pray every day that you're blessed. Have a good one.